India's main opposition party says the government is a sinking ship, but would they do any better? And with scandals and scams across the political spectrum, is the public fed up with all of them? I'm the outsider. This is our motion tonight. India has no confidence in its leading politicians. Well, speaking for that motion, Santosh Hegde, former Supreme Court justice and until recently part of the so-called Team Anna anti-corruption movement. And with him, Ramesh Ramanathan, former banker, now technical advisor to the largest urban initiative in India's history and a member of several government committees on urban affairs. Against the motion, Dinesh Trivedi, member of parliament for the Trinamool Congress. He served in a number of senior ministerial positions, including most recently as railways minister. And with him, Sudhindra Badoria, a political analyst and campaigner for the BSP or People's Majority Party. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our panel. So could I first ask Santosh Hegde to speak for the motion? I'm for the motion. I do not find one good reason why I should have faith in the uh, political system itself. It's not a question of uh, opposition saying uh, uh, the ruling party is a sinking ship. I think uh, if they come to power, it will be the same case. I don't find very many honest people in the leadership of the political parties, be it the ruling party or the opposition, good administrators, good economists, and people who are con really concerned for the problem of the people, I mean, I mean to meet the um, uh, difficulties of the people, such as the political system where the leadership is totally lacking uh, honesty. Santosh Hegde, thank you very much indeed. Um, does India get the politicians it deserves? Well, I don't think India deserves such politicians. Unfortunately, certain systems prevailing in the politics is the cause for it. But the, there's dishonesty in daily life. The politicians are only a reflection of, of the, the people who vote them in, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're, no, they're no better or worse than the people who vote them in. If hundreds of millions of people no, 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 no. practice corruption on a daily basis, what do you expect the politicians to do? No, I don't think the bribe givers as such are responsible for the present problem. But if they yes. didn't give bribes, they, they there wouldn't be people bribe. to take Because them. they're compelled to give bribes. There are two types nobody of corruption. Nobody compels you no, no, to give a bribe, no, do they? There are two types of corruption. One is compulsive corruption, where when you have to get something legitimately that yours, when the officer concerned or the leader concerned, he has to um, give that uh, benefit, they demand bribe. If they don't pay bribe, they don't get that basic uh, facility. So if they knew that people weren't going to pay bribes, they wouldn't uh, start demanding them, would they? That's that, true, that, but that, over that the, would end. No, so it comes the, down to the people themselves. Elect more honest politicians if you don't like yes, the ones you've got. If that is uh, possible, that is the best way out. Well, you said there were some around. Yeah, there are some around that they don't want to contest election, maybe because of the prevailing system. So India gets the politicians it deserves. In Ultimately, the you're right. Yeah. You tried to do something about corruption. That didn't go any better than the politicians, did it, really? S yes, it's very unfortunate. It did awake in a certain section of the Indian society. It, the moment was going in the right direction, but very unfortunately, it took a different turn. But right, I think because you argued about politics, didn't you? Yeah, Some people wanted certain. to go yes, more yes. political than Maybe you did. Maybe they had a good reason for that. They must be thinking that in spite of the fact that a large section of Indians wanted a strong Lokpal bill, the elected representatives... The anti-corruption bill. Yeah, no, uh, Ombudsman's bill. That is the Lokpal bill. We already have an anti-corruption bill called the Anti-Corruption Act. And, uh, but this fight was in regard to creating an ombudsman's post. So you're no better than the politicians, actually, are you, when it comes to combating uh, corruption? I mean, I've seen... You, 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 I've had seen... A, you had a go, they've had a go, you both failed. Yeah, it's true, but I'm talking about... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the, uh, f uh, the fight Anna Azar's team had. It is to create an ombudsman's post called the Lokpal. And the parliament did agree at some point of time that we will create an institution of that nature, but they have not done it. Only reason I can find is they have realized that this type of protest can't go on for a long time because the people who are supporting this movement were coming from a particular class where the fatigue factor affects. Okay, but for, for all the disenchantment that you and many others presumably have for the political process, um, voter turnout is still large. In, in elections this year, we've seen huge voter turnout in Uttar Pradesh, the most populous state. 
up from 46% in 2007 to 62% this year. So obviously yes. the people feel that there is a point in voting. There are politicians worth voting for. The whole process is, is worth I, their, I, their time I, and their I effort. think 62% is not enough. It should be much more than that. It compares well with countries around the world, doesn't it? Possibly, but I think India requires a better voting uh, percentage. Santosh Hegde, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Could I now please ask Dinesh Trivedi to speak against the motion, please? Thank you very much, Tim. I'm very happy to be out here. This conversation which took place just about a few seconds back between Justice Hegde and Tim, I think concludes the debate right here. That is the society. And I must tell you, when we talk about Indian politician, perhaps that is the subject. The other day I was in a place called Victoria. That is the British Columbia in Canada. And I was in the taxi, and I just asked the, the chauffeur there, and I said, how are the politicians here? He said, they are the same as everywhere in the world. I said, what do you mean? They are scoundrels. So what he was trying to say that everywhere in the world. But then if I bring you back to just few years back, Pandit Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi, Subhas Chandra Bose, Dr. Rajendra Prashad, Sarvapalli, Dr. Radha Krishnan, Zakir Hussain, Rajaji, Sarat Chandra Bose, B.R. Ambedkar, S.P. Mukherjee, and very recently, Lal Bahadur Shastri. They were also politicians. Obviously, they were. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay. Now, with the change of society, the aspiration of the people change. And I'm sure most of you must be voting. And you all look like the voting age to me. Do you vote or you don't? Yes. You vote. If you did not have faith in the politicians, why would you vote? Then you would say that we are not going to vote. And if you don't vote, then what happens? Democracy collapses. And no way anybody in India or anywhere in the world right-thinking people, we have paid a big price to get our independence. And I certainly, to certainly, up, certainly I will not compromise with democracy. Yes, at the end of the day, all of us put together, we need to change the system, if at all. Dinesh Trivedi, thank you very much. Change the system. The system is made up of people like you. Sure. You've been a minister for many years. Sure. Why should people have faith in you? People, if you take a vote, and I'm sure if they know my background... Your party I'm, leader didn't have faith in you in the end, party leader has total faith in me. <laughs> really? Of course, today. That's why she wanted you out of the job of railways minister. Well, I think there are certain issues which party has a view I, as a politician... It's just the as, typical squabbling and infighting that goes no, on I, in, in politics I, I guess here, isn't the, it? That people are getting increasingly tired governments of. Governments are made not only of politicians. It is bureaucracy, it is media, it is executive. And they're not, and dealing, and they're not dealing with the issues that matter in this country, of are course they? they? So are how dealing. can they possibly have... They are they dealing with hunger, for instance? 2.1 million children if, if, dying, dying every year of malnutrition. Half, half of them before they're six I months old. Did the, you deal with that when Ab you were health absolutely. and family welfare absolutely. minister? Absolutely. You, you go and check my record. I certainly dealt with so it. So why is the situation getting worse? Then? But I'm not a magician. Why is the situation getting worse? I may look like worse? a magician, but I'm not a magician. Dinesh Trivedi, it why is, is the situation <laughs> getting worse? Situation, in Why is fact, it the worst in South Asia and worse than the worst performer in no, Sub-Saharan I, I, Africa Tim, here in India? Tim, why? I, uh, Tim, I must correct you on the record. Situation is certainly not getting worse. Okay, this if is you, from India's Human Development Report. No, it is not getting worse. If you compiled see, by the Institute no, of no, Applied no. Manpower you, Research. If you see That's where the, the figures infant come mortality from. rate, we certainly need to improve much more. But certainly the graph is not going down. I'm talking about underweight children. 2000 to 2007, which is the worst in South Asia here in India and worse than the worst performer in sub-Saharan Africa. Fair That's enough. in the 2011 report yep. compiled by the Institute of Applied but Manpower you know what, Research. But you know what was our life expectancy? It used to be a few decades back, only 45 years, 35 years. Now it has gone up to 60 plus. The mortality, infant mortality rate is much, much better. 
that two doesn't point, mean that two point, we, that two doesn't mean one million, but that two point one million mean, children that dying of mean, malnutrition every year in what you say is a successful political system. I'm not system. telling successful. You see, you are looking you for it's a, a successful political system. Tim, now you are becoming a politician. You are squabbling. <laughs> <laughs> I need to squabble with you because that's what interviewers do. I, I Dinesh understand. Trivedi, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Could I now please ask Ramesh Ramanathan to speak for the motion? Uh, I'm speaking for the motion because uh, I, I want to parse the statement itself, which is India has lost faith in its leading politicians, not in all of its politicians. And I think that's <clears> important <throat> to distinguish. Uh, and I want to submit the following. First of all, let's define what we mean by leading politicians. These are people, and I'd like to submit, who are either running executive positions at the national level or at state levels, or who are the leaders of their political parties responsible for the conduct of their parties where they are in power at the state level or at national levels. So those are the class of politicians that I'm indicting by being for the motion. Uh, specifically, it's not easy to be a politician or a leading politician in India today. <clears throat> Complex country with multiple challenges, very hard to get access to political power, especially given the kind of money power that's required to run for politics today, uh, and complicated <clears throat> issues that we need to deal with. But my indictment comes from three reasons, and these are the three reasons. Number one, Forget about the issues that are of the day, whether it's corruption or whether it's about reforms in government. I say that none of the leading politicians in the country today have articulated a coherent, comprehensive vision of reforms for a modern India. We have hundreds of millions of people who are looking for positions, who are looking for jobs, micro-entrepreneurs, people who want to come into the cities from rural areas. When we talk of reforms, we only talk about reforms for the formal sector. India's current political paradigm is reforms for the formal economy and subsidies for the poor. I think that's a weak argument for how our country should be developed. We have a license permit raj for the poor that needs to be dismantled. There's not a single political party that's actually laid out an argument for this. That's the first argument. Secondly, I don't think all political leadership is about strategic big picture leadership. A significant portion of leadership is about running your ministry. It's about doing the day-to-day -day things that matter, the operational stuff. 80% of the things that bother us today can be managed if we had good political leaders running ministries, running their departments in the right way. And I'll give you examples of this. I have personal experience in issues related to urban development. Let me give you one example of affordable housing. Today, we have 26 million units needed in affordable housing in the country. There is a complete dysfunctionality of how building permissions are given for affordable housing, which prevents the market from coming in and, and playing a role. I need to Number ask three, you to come to a close, please. And I, my last point in, in, in arguing for the motion mm. is the largest indictment of our political leaders is how they're running their political institutions, the parties themselves. I am tired of hearing educated politicians coming on television programs and shaking their heads about the nature of their political parties. If you are a leader, take control of it, okay. fix the car, fix the house. All right, Ramesh Ramanathan, thank you very much indeed. Who would do any better than the current crop of politicians? Who? Well, I think that uh, the process you, You've has acknowledged to it's a difficult country Absolutely. to govern. Maybe it's ungovernable. It's not, it requires leadership. Dinesh Trivedi talked about the names that he put out. It's, it's really leadership. unfortunate I mean, that every one of those people died before I was born. What about the current you're, list you're of leadership? You're making your arguments just at a time as the government seems to have won back some confidence. That's just, you For know, reforms. that's like painting... The market seemed pretty pleased That's like painting lipstick reforms. on a pig. We need reforms today and we need hundreds of reforms. That's what leadership is about. Painting lipstick on a pig? Yes. Reforms that are to benefit this country? Well, it's a debatable reform. Why would, of all the reforms that need to be done, why would you take up FDI in retail? It's a contentious reform to begin with. You seem to say that 80% of things that bother us could be managed. 80% yes. of poverty, 80% of the insurgency that's now in a third of districts around India, all that could be managed with some magic wand, could uh, it? It's not a magic wand, it requires discipline, it's dedication. it's a very easy thing to say. You're saying that most of the problems affecting this enormous country could be managed that easily? And that is the stuff of leaders. That's the stuff of legend, isn't it? Well, that's the stuff of look fantasy, at the genesis of our it? country. We got that's people, the stuff of fantasy. We got it? this country independence because we had leaders. Where are those class of people today in our political constituency? 
Why are more and more women going to the polls, for instance? Hardly a sign that India is losing confidence in politicians I'm not in the saying, political process, is I, it? I specifically argued, Tim, that it's India's losing confidence with our political leaders. We're not losing confidence with but politicians in general. people mostly vote for the political leaders, don't they? No, there are lots and hundreds of leaders, of politicians who are at the grassroots doing good work, tactical stuff. So people continue to have confidence in that. What's missing is confidence in the leadership of our political class. All right, Ramesh Ramanathan, thank you very much indeed. Now, Sudhindra Bhattoria, could you speak against the motion, please? Yes. Let me tell you, being a political activist, that we live in a geopolitical and historical context. And we have to see all this in the context that we are living in. We inherited a system from our colonial masters. We were subjects during that time. And then we had a feudal social structure. We gave a modern uh, democratic nation a constitution, and on this constitution, we wanted to do the nation building. As uh, Dinesh Trivedi mentioned, and I would like to bring in one more name, Baba Sahib Bhim Rao Ambedkar, who was the chairperson of the constitution-making committee and who was a Dalit. 60 years back, there was no village where a Dalit could raise his head and walk or sit across like this that we are sitting over here. Today, we have in our country, not, there's not a single village, and I'm coming from a village, and that too from Uttar Pradesh, where people, the Dalits particularly, the oppressed sections for thousands of years are today marching hand in hand with the rest of the society. There are problems. Not to say that there are no problems with them. There are problems there. We have to still improve a lot. But it was possible because of this democratic system and the politicians that here are a Dalit women. Mayavati ji could become chief minister four times in this country. 50, 60 years back, you could not even dream of becoming an important political player. Uh, we are in the process of nation building. And let me tell you, as far as our nation surging ahead, we are today the second fastest growing co economy in the world, next only to China. We are also, I mean, let us take the backward regions of this country, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, which were known as the sick regions. We have 9% growth. And we had 12. We have 12 percent growth GDP growth in Bihar. I have now, to ask you to wrap up, please. Yes, 12 percent. So what I'm trying to say is that, in spite of all the problems, it is these politicians. Bihar is even doing better than China. Okay. So therefore, I would say that have faith. We uh, have inherited a very uh, rigid social structure and a very exploitative system. All right. We are so trying to change it. I have to stop you there. Thank you very much. According to the Times of India. 30% of members of parliament and members of legislative assemblies are either indicted or under investigation. How much uh, faith would you ask this audience to have in people like that? Well, it is for these people who elect the people's representatives. How do you have faith in the 30% who are indicted or under investigation? How? Look, uh, you yourself just mentioned that in UP, when the elections were held, 62%. But in a state like Punjab, there were 67%. In Uttaranchal, there was even, uh, I think, around 65 to 66 percent. Because uh, people are still clinging to the process in the hope that it no, may produce some they results. Have faith it hasn't in the, produced any results. They has have it? faith in the constitution, in the democratic system, and also in the leadership. But of course, but, people have let them down on many an occasions. But, but they the don't have faith system, in the system the, where the gap between rich and poor is getting wider and wider. How can they have faith uh, in that if that's what the politicians are producing for them these days? No, you see. That's uh, the system, uh, isn't it? If you go and see down there at the grassroots, Things are changing. It is not so bad as it is being painted in the media and in okay, the... Okay, it's not the media. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance, speaking last month, said the committee is concerned to note the emerging, ever-widening gap between the rich and the poor and the increasingly disproportionate distribution of assets in our country. That certainly so it's not is just a, the media. No, that certainly is a concern, and um, let me tell well, you, not even being addressed, on that, is it? we have, in spite of that, we have brought a right to information bill. We have also brought in a lot of uh, uh, provisions in through this parliament 
it's and it's been which are scandal after sc scandal after uh, scandal, hasn't it? Scandals prevail from Japan to the rest of the world in uh, uh, Europe as, and to the US as well. With but the let same me tell frequency, you, Colgate, the telecoms licenses, the army bribery row, the WikiLeaks cash for votes scandal last year. The head of the anti-corruption watchdog right. even, and, and even had to step down because there were corruption charges against him in 2010. Absolutely right. And let me tell you, it's absolutely well, right, are, but it doesn't inspire the, confidence the, the from these people, does it? The society is 24-7 awake, and they will change and whenever it requires. But that doesn't mean that the democratic system, the constitution is obsolete and irrelevant. All this right. will throw up new leaders, new p politicians, and this nation will surge ahead, I'm quite it's, sure. It's got to, hasn't it? Sudindra Badori, thank you very much indeed. All right, we're going to take a break now. When we come back, a question to the audience. Has democracy had its day in India? And would the country be better off with one-party rule like China? That's in a moment. Join us then. Welcome back, I'm The Outsider, and our motion tonight is this. India has no confidence in its leading politicians. Well, just a few moments ago, we put a slightly different question to the audience here in Mumbai. Did they think democracy had had its day in India, and would the country be better off with one-party rule like China? Well, the vote is in. 29% of you said India would be better off with one-party rule. 71% said it wouldn't. Santosh Hegde, that's an enormous number of people, almost 30%, who would ditch democracy in this country and go for one-party rule. Does it shock you? It's uh, shocking to me because, uh, according to me, uh, democracy is the best uh, political system that's available in this world internationally. There's no better governance than the democratic um, system. But let me tell you one thing. Democracy system is the best, but it is today brought down to this level because the people who are uh, supposed to protect the system of democracy. Okay. Today, Dinesh Trivedi, let me bring you in. 30% so disillusioned with the system that you have here that they'd like China's. That's pretty shocking, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's because uh, people like Justice Hegre, who has such a clean image, they don't come into politics. And at the end of the day, when voters well, doesn't did. have... you did. No, you did. You've I'm, got a I'm clean image, haven't you? If you? Of course, and if you take a vote, I'm sure, I'm confident that people will vote for me. So... See, they are laughing and they agree. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe they're just so, laughing. <laughs> you take a vote. You take a vote. So well, we'd it, have to take a vote with everybody if we she, did that. Actually, actually Tim, what happens? You've had all, your votes, I think, many in, of them. In all seriousness, you have to see whether the glass is half empty and half, either half full. In this case, the 70% of the glass is full. And this is the beauty of democracy. If there was no democracy, there wouldn't have been any voting okay. so on the Badoria. subject at all. So Badoria. You see, it depends from which side you are trying to look at the reality. If 70% of people are trying to still uh, repose their faith in democracy and in the system... That's enough is, for you, No, is it? it is not enough. But I'm quite sure that the political system, as I told you, we are a very complex and also a lot of problems so of you, social you can structure. So you 30% disillusionment. They will the, gradually the move into the larger democratic All system. Right. Okay, Ramesh, Ramesh Ramanathan. Well, I think that the, uh, the fact that you have 30% of people who feel this and they're allowed to say what they want is proof that uh, you know, having a democracy is a good thing. Okay. And uh, the second point is, I think that if you dig into those 30% numbers, it will be a reflection of a lack of faith in the current crop of political leaders. OK, well, let's, let's hear, if we may, from somebody in the audience who did say they would be better off with one-party rule. Would somebody put up their hand, anybody who voted that way? And uh, perhaps let us know why. The lady up there, would you stand up? We'll get a microphone to you. Why did you vote that way? Why do you think India it's would be better off? It's just because of the with... corruption of the politics, politicians which happened in India. OK, let me just hear from one or two other people over there. I have favoured the one-leader uh, vote just because the democracy I have seen misuse in India 
and the corruption rate the the scams that i've been seeing from you know from last 2 3 years there's a lady behind you in the row there um firstly i believe democracy is it just sounds fancy uh, it just feels that okay uh, we have the power in our hand to control uh, the government but um it's not at all like that and um secondly uh, i feel that uh, right now there's politics between the political parties we are, the political parties are not bothered about the citizens but they are more bothered about whether they are winning against a certain political okay. party there's just a fight Shredi. happening do you want to answer that yeah i just my question would be that if there is one political party rule and what happens if that one political party is the most corrupt party then where are you where is the check and balance i think that's how uh, we all can come together and revolt against one party that's right instead of um, fighting against various uh, i mean That, that you you called, think it would unify? You think it would democracy. unify the country? Sorry? Do you? You think it would unify the country? It would, yes. Ramesh Ramanathan. No, I think it's uh, again what we what we are seeing is such a deep disenchantment with the current crop of politics that people are looking for any kind of an alternative. Clearly, uh, I think that if we had a conversation, I could convince you that uh, having betting on one leader and as uh, dinesh said much as i'd hate to dis- agree with him on this panel <laughs> betting on one leader and hoping that that person turns out to be the right one for the country i think is a very big bet with very significant consequences so dinesh badori you just want to say something she yeah. thinks it's just in fighting she's fed up no, with no, it no 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 she <laughs> she's we, fed up with it no no we are a pl- let us understand then that that's the reason why i said we are a complex social system we are a plural society there's only one way of unifying this country is through a democratic process the moment you come into a one party we have a caste we have gender we have language we have regions and this is a sure way of dividing the country and because we had a federal democratic structure it is that is the reason we are unifying this country what happened in our neighborhood is very clear and okay. when there was a uh, military ask, rule I, I, the I country disintegrated you, are you convinced by that not really well okay. well i All think right. i think um, people is trivedi final attempt if people like to win you, round one voter people like you <laughs> who have been disenchanted with the system must step in and try to change the yeah. system and that's how leaders are born and you look very bright to me i'm sure tomorrow you could become the chief minister of maharashtra so, <laughs> oh, okay ramesh 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 if i could say one point so i would really love to enter the system and change sure. but i feel I think there are people inside the system who who are just corrupting everything. I think there are there are youth outside who really want to make a difference but they are controlled by the corrupted leaders that they cannot do anything. Okay, a final word, Ramesh Ramanathan. So here's an offer. If all the major political parties said here is the rules by which we're going to nominate the people who'll stand for let's say assembly elections and parliamentary elections and these are good people with a proven track record, none of them has a criminal background. would you then like to have a multi party system if you could see clearly the kind of people whom they are putting up for elections um one thing power is really scary marginally once, would you be okay once you have that power in your hand it's it's like you can do anything with that power you can you can choose to do something positive and at the same time you can have an evil mind and but well, that's why choose. you have judges like santosh hegde when he was in the supreme court keeping keeping an eye on the politicians you actually gave them whatever credibility they have didn't you not during my time <laughs> <laughs> and since well quite some time back it is <laughs> and you've got very activist courts these days always looking over the on the, on the government's shoulder and looking at what they're doing and holding them to account yeah you? but then people should keep an eye on the judiciary also okay that's even less confidence in the system <laughs> all right okay we are going to discuss the motion at hand which is india has no confidence in its leading politicians so we'll take your questions on that as opposed to the previous vote gentlemen in the front row uh, my question is to mr trivedi uh, sir do you realize that across the country more and more elections are being won on an increasingly negative vote for example the people of west bengal cast a negative vote against the cpm for the nandigram and shingur but after that right now today the public sentiment is against the alleged tyrannical moves by mamta banerji which included your removal as railways minister so do you or do you not see the example in this example the disillusionment disillusionment of people in our politicians okay dinesh trivedi you know india is 
obviously divided in two. One is the rural India, which is, I would say, 70% of the people, and one is the urban India. Rural India, perhaps because of lack of a lot of things, education, health, and poverty as well. So they have a different set. And as far as the rural India is concerned, I don't think so they have lost confidence. And if they lose at the end of the day, and that is the beauty of democracy, if supposing tomorrow we as a party in Bengal are not doing up to the expectation of the people, I don't think so people would vote for us. But recent elections, what we have had, has shown that still the faith is there amongst the people, the masses at large. Okay, he's shaking his head at you. He well, he has a right to shake his hand. It's democracy. Let's hear why he's shaking his head. So my question is increasingly, the anti-incumbency factor is a direct result of the disillusionment, disillusionment that the people have with our political leaders. Uh, if, if that wasn't the case, why would there be such a movement for the right to recall or the right not to vote to any party? See, the system is very complex. Uh, Mr. Hegre and Mr. Anna Hazare, I respect him a lot, tried. But that also had their infight and whatever be the reason. So today, the problem is, I totally agree with you. The elections are held on negativity. And that is why we need people who are totally committed to change the system like that young lady. So unless and until people who are committed to bring in change and not take things out of the system, that's why I rattle certain great names. Okay, Ramesh, and I'm sure Ramesh India Ramanathan, will have put, those people. Ramesh Ramanathan, I want you to bring it here. You, you seem to think that 80% uh, of India's problems can be so easily managed. No, but I want to pick up on, on this exchange and, and what it shows is precisely the disillusionment. How can somebody like Dinesh Ji, who's a seasoned politician, say, we can't solve it as political leaders. We want all of you, the average citizens of India, to come and make us change. It's not dictatorial. That's it's what leadership dictatorial. is about. That is where, that's where I must tell you that we are not into dictatorship. No, but I am saying, Dictatorship Dinesh is ji, very different than no, democracy. Let, let, him, let him have his say. My point, Dinesh Ji, is we, every one of us here feels that the political parties at the heart of our democratic system are weak, broken, dysfunctional, corrupt. In order for those parties to change, leaders of these political parties have to take a role. And only when they take a role will the people start voting not as negative votes and not want single party systems, but they say good candidates are coming. I have a clear choice between option A and option B. So that is not available you're today. saying it's a lousy choice? Yes. That they've got? Yes, and that's because our political party leaders are not fixing their parties. All right. Um, but may, may I just rebuttal a little briefly, on that? Very briefly. I need yeah, to I mean, then, then why people like you shy away from politics? Because it's a hard job is not a comfortable air-conditioned environment. But here's street. my point. You <laughs> clean up your home, you fix your political party, okay, and people me like you, me will line up to come in. Okay, one no, last I, question. I, I, one I need last to, question. I, I'm moving on. Gentleman in the red shirt. Hello, sir. Uh, my question is, uh, the political party which is, which is in power, the politicians which are in power right now, because of scams and controversies, they, the, their image is tarnished. And the opposition has a cleaner image. Once, that Im once the opposition comes into power, the opposition also goes through the same controversies and scams. So my question is, why do you expect uh, the youth to vote when we can see the circle and we'll be making a fool of out of ourselves if we, keep, if, we, if we get into the circle and support this, the whole opposition and Santa the Shagre, political why party. Sh why should they go on voting? Yeah, there is a need for a change. We can't just be um, uh, watching the system that's going, going from corrupt to more corrupt and all. Therefore, people should come into the system and change the system within. We can't just complain. But there are the youth, they're saying, you, your youth power should be used for the change now. In democracy, we can, within the system itself, the change should be brought in. Yes. People already there in the system, they will never change it. There should be a new crop coming into the system and change the system, but keeping the basic uh, this requirement of democracy there. Because if there is How no... How do you do that when there's so much dynastic politics Well, it will take India. time. It will take time. Doing? How do you break the power of the big political well, families? Uh, uh, the country? youth should get into the political system and they should take the leadership of the party and they should show and prove that they are honest. 
That's when everybody will support you. Okay, Sudindra Badoria. I mean, he wants to know <laughs> what he's supposed to do faced with this, uh, the choice of scams from different parties. Well, the scams, if the scams are there, which is a reality, and people are uh, so very what, unhappy what's the, with it. What's this. he supposed to people do? People will change this, and they will change. Uh, I think they will vote uh, such forces out of power who are indulging in such kind of practices. Okay, gentlemen up there. Yeah, you sir, at the end. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi is arguably the most powerful politician in the country. We don't know what her views are on key issues. Same with any other leading politician like Ms. Mayavati, for example. She shies away from media. And in that case, when leading politicians don't talk to people, when common people like me have a uh, sort of... Uh, we sort of fear them because of the hype that they are behind their uh, Lal Bhatti and all. So in that case, how do we trust our leading politicians when they are not connected with people? They come in elections and they, then they okay. go away. Tinesh Trivedi. And moreover, our leading no. politicians... Okay, you've made your point. Tinesh Trivedi. No, I think it's... Today, it's not a presidential form of government in India. At the end of the day, when you talk about politicians, it's not only the leaders which matter. It is other members of parliament also but make the whole parliament. But he wants to connect with his leaders. He says he's not able to connect with these leaders. Well, I cannot talk about individuals. I can talk about myself. You could have talked about Mayawati. No, Mayawati, I think he can talk about. No, okay. I can't talk about you... Ma I can talk about Mamta Banerjee. She is very easily accessible. And, uh, <laughs> I think he mentioned the name of my leader. Let me tell you, Mayawati, as far as she's concerned in Uttar Pradesh, she travels, she meets people, and it is because of this, in spite of the fact that we lost this election, we got 26% vote, and it was just a difference of 3% vis-a-vis the Samajwadi party. And let me tell you, it was not possible unless the workers and the leader were moving with the people and interacting with them. Okay. And my other question is, our leading politicians do not take their job seriously. Their job is to make laws. They don't do that. We know how our parliament functions. Their job is to run their ministries properly. They don't do that in a proper manner either. So in that case, how do people how do you like know? us... On, on what basis are you saying that, that they don't run their ministries sir, properly? Like uh, me, when I watch our Lok Sabha TV and when I watch sessions of British parliament, you can clearly see the difference which happens. In our Lok Sabha, there's only shouting going you, on, no serious really, limited discussion. Can you really? You need to spend more time in Britain then. Yes, you no, need to spend more time in Britain. Well, well, I took my job very seriously. The result was not very good. So that's my point. So, so you... That's my point. So, so how, much, how much blame attaches to you, Minister? No, I think that was much more on the lighter side, but I think <laughs> each and every minister... No blame at all, then. take no blame their job all. seriously. No blame at all. No, I don't like to blame. I just like to take Yourself. my thing uh, seriously. No, I don't blame myself at all. I did whatever I should have done, and if given the chance, I will do the same thing all over again. No regrets. No regrets at all. That's unusual in politics, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I'm not a politician from that point of view. Gentleman in the striped shirt. Gentleman in the striped shirt, second one. My please. question is to Dinesh Trivedi, sir. Sir, you made a few, few points uh, initially that people vote, you know, just, just because they believe in the system. I think people vote because you make fool out of us. You, you promise cycles, you promise TVs, you, you People pay us money. People say that we will give you laptops even while they cannot provide the basic education system. And 65% of people who are living in rural India, they, they believe you. So, they so, say, what's, so what's your point? Uh, the point is we are believing in the democratic system. We are not believing in, the, in, the, in our politicians. And, and the politicians are making a fool of you. Yeah, they are trying their best and they have become very, okay. uh, very much adapted. at it. You are a smart person. Why should you let yourself be fooled? Sir, it is, it is because of the hope, sir. It is because of the hope that, the, that we believe that something good will come up. That, you know, those fleshy dreams, someone will make them true. And something good will happen because at least we trust this person, we trust this person. But, you know, everyone has betrayed us so far. And coming back to you directly on what point you have made, that you said something like, you know, uh, I have done something good. You raised the prices, right. But when your party opposed you, you just stepped down. Ticket, ticket you know? prices on the no, railways, you're talking no, about. Yeah. Uh, you know, he increased the price. Good thing. But what he did after that? Did he follow up on that? No. Show some support for cause that you are making. You just stepped down from the railway ministry post. Okay, you've made How your, are you supporting the idea that you totally your point. believe in? You've made your point. Thank you. Dinesh Trivedi. I, I appreciate the question and, and there is, there, I must confess that there was a dilemma. But at the end of the day, you have to be disciplined. And you, if you are disciplined, then you have to believe in teamwork. So and team, uh, let, me me let, him, let him answer. Let him answer. If the there question. is a teamwork, and if 
bigger than you is your party. And if the party collectively thought <laughs> that this is not our ethos, our ethos is not to raise the fare, and it is the party which had put me as a minister for railways. So I have got to obey the party. And I fell into that discipline. Okay. And I'm a disciplined person. All right. And I believe in that discipline. Point. Ramesh Ramanathan. This goes to the third argument I made, saying that India has lost faith with its political leaders. You leaders must be able to strengthen their parties. And ultimately, the political parties at the heart of our democratic system. If the party is not good, then Dinesh ji, you and others who are leaders in political parties need to challenge the parties and strengthen it. Only then will good people come in. Okay, gentlemen in the third row. Mr. Sune Santosh Hegde said that uh, why youth are not coming up uh, uh, for in the parliament or in election. But uh, don't you think there is no opportunity? All the leading leaders you see, like uh, Rahul Gandhi, Akhilesh Ryadav, Omar, Omar Abdullah, Raj Thakre, all of them, uh, parents or some relatives have been in the parliament. That's why they are able to come. Okay. And also... The Santosh Hegde, answer that one. Well, there will be an opportunity. Right now, we may not have that opportunity. Uh, but... If this uh, movement goes further, that there should be cleansing of the political system in this country, then certainly there'll be more opportunity for everybody else. Now, taking the thing slightly differently, just see how the elected leaders make fools of you, of the voters. In, uh, when uh, um, Lokpal bill was being discussed in the Lok Sabha, the Lok Sabha voted for it, it went to Raj Sabha. The political parties which support... From the, the lower the, the house to the upper house. Yeah, upper house. When it went to the upper house, Raj Sabha, the very same parties which supported opposed it in that part. What does it show? They don't want Lokpal bill to come. But to show it to the people that they are in support of the Lokpal bill, they voted in the Lok Sabha. And okay. without any rhyme or reason, when it went to the Raj Sabha, they opposed it. Okay, all right. Gentlemen up there. Yes, you. My question is to you, Mr. Santosh Hegde. It's that states are constantly electing leaders from either two parties. You see that in UP, you see that in Tamil Nadu as well. Okay, now when th there's been such a long period that this has been happening, that there has been time for another front to come up. The front hasn't come up and yet people still vote for the two parties time after time. So doesn't that show that people have faith probably in the leaders? Because people don't have knowledge about the lower leadership of, of these parties. They just vote for the leaders. Doesn't that go against your okay. argument then? Santa that Shaiti. only shows that there is no alternative for, except for the two parties. We got to bring about another party consisting of honest people who have some public service in mind. And such people should form a party and then uh, uh, saying, um, uh, serve the country. You wanted to come back on that? In, in, I would take specifically the case of UP since it's the largest state in India. Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, yes. The thing is, is that the, the only parties that are being voted are the Samajwadi Party and the Bahujan Samaj Party. Everyone wants to come into US. The Congress have made a big campaign this time. The BJP wants to come in. Every party wants to have a presence in the U in, in Uttar Pradesh. So isn't it wrong to say that the people of Uttar Pradesh don't have an alternative then? No, the alternative is there. But the alternatives which are there are not there with the people. In the villages, in the grassroots, in the mohallas, in these small townships, if your workers are not going to be there, and if you're not going to be working amongst the people and in the larger society, rubbing shoulders with them, that is what I said in the beginning, then uh, my friend, the multiple party system we do have, but the multi-party system will not work in the manner as you may desire because they will vote for people who are working down but there. But Tim, that's well, if I, if I may add, that is what we are proving that people still have faith in the political leaders. Yeah. If they did not have faith, and that is what you are telling, and I'm totally agreeing with you, that is where our, this motion gets defeated flat. Ramesh Ramanathan. No, in fact, I would say that all of the arguments that have been made show that the people of India are ahead of their political leaders. They still have faith in democracy. They still have faith in the political system. And that's why they continue to turn out at the elections and continue to vote. It is not a validation of the political leadership. But if why they don't they defeat the leaders? You, Sorry? You've, you've, you've actually, who? You've actually said... Who? If, they have, if they do not have faith in the political leaders, then years after years, how do they get elected? They must be having faith in the leaders. That's why they get elected. Dinesh you're on ultimately. record as saying that the electorate is actually more mature than the politicians. Obviously, that's why you said that they have faith in the politicians. <laughs> no, but they have faith in the political well, system. How can they have faith in people who are less mature than they are? Yeah, but that's why they're electing huh? people. They think that others, like Mr. Hegde, is not coming. So whatever we have is the best as far as the availability is concerned. Santosh Hegde. 
Well, there are very many people who are better than me who are available to be there in the political yeah. system. But they are not allowed because of the present politicians. They don't allow anybody to come in. It's all like right. the third class okay. mentality. It will always be between the ideal and the possible. It cannot be the ideal all the time. Okay. All, the right. Ideal all, and all right. Ramesh Ramanathan, final comments on this. Here, here's the point, right? Here is a set of political leaders and parties saying, you know, we cannot fix this problem. And so you people, all you Indians and voters of India, come into the political system and you fix the problem. What greater indictment of political leadership can you find than coming from my learned friend on the opposite side? No, this is, you got a mistake and that this is what I said that we, we don't think. You are thinking that we are not fixing. We think that so we are what fixing. You're fixing. That is what we are saying. We, take the case of women. Take the case of, and, and I'm telling you in all seriousness, take the case of girl child in the villages. Do you have any idea how many girl child in the villages are getting educated? And if you see today... Do you know how many are getting killed? Today? No, but that is... There Do you are know no, how many are getting killed? Much, much less than the Western world. Much less than much the Western less, world. 17 much, million over the much, last 20 much, years. Much less fetuses, than... Fetuses. Much less than... Female infanticide. Much, much less than the Western world. Let That's me the first you, claim I've much, ever heard of that much kind. West, no, That's the first the, claim I've ever no, heard of that kind. I must tell you, you have got to see... Nobody is telling that we are perfect. We are not telling that we are living in heaven. We want to improve the system. Mr. Trivedi, are you to not the happy? National... Are you not happy that the girl child is improving? Mr. It seems that Mr. you are not happy. Mr. Trivedi, India, according, girl according child to the, are improving. Can I just say? We have not said that the system is perfect. You can you shout. Show me you a can system shout. Which you is can perfect. shout, but you're not listening to the fact the sure. National Crime Records Bureau said that in Punjab they had lost a quarter of their women. Which is bad. A quarter. Oh, bad. Which is bad, of course. Which is bad. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just bad. It's not a catastrophe. That is where the system comes it's into It's not being. a catastrophe that on is, a global. Scares. That is where the bad. system comes into Can being. I ask a question to Santa Mr. Trivedi? You are so much concerned about the women. Then why are you not passing the women's reservation bill? <laughs> women's, <laughs> women's reservation bill doesn't belong to one party. It belongs to All the parties parliament are of India. It. I didn't expect you because you are a learned person. Parliament system, we have a fractured mandate. As far as Trinamool Congress is concerned, I can talk about my party. My party Has it been without put to vote? Has it been have, put to vote? You have asked me a question, let me reply. My party, without passing the bill, even if you say the local body, not one third, we have 50% of the people in the local bodies. Well, I am so not I talking can, about this party responsible by Shekde. my party. Yeah. I am not talking about A political party, B political party, but C political parliament. party. But in the parliament, but let's parliament. Say, you, in the parliament, the bill is not being placed. Silence. Because no political party wants to pass that bill. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the point in the proceedings. We're going to vote on the motion that India has no confidence in its leading politicians. If you want to vote for that motion, that is the side represented by those on my right, you're going to need in a moment to press button one. If you want to vote against the motion, that is the side represented by those on my left, it's button two. Whichever button you want to press, please do so now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the vote is in. 83% of you say India has no confidence in its leading politicians. 17% say it has. So the motion has been resoundingly carried. Let's just look at how you voted before the debate. In that result, 67% said India had no confidence in its leading politicians, <laughs> and 33% felt it had. So we have seen <laughs> a big swing. A 16% 16, 16 swing towards those in favour of the motion. Dinesh Trivedi, you lost that one. Well, that's democracy. And we, we respect the verdict. I only wish that there were people from the villages also. Sutindra Badoria. And I can't even blame the moderator. Sutindra Badoria, brief, no, that, brief the, reaction. Well, you see, you got it hammered. is for them to decide. They should think from... $400 million economy, we have reached to $1.8 trillion economy. And I think there is certain things that we should look forward to in this country. And uh, politicians are not that bad in politics, and this constitution okay. is not that bad. Ramesh Ramanathan, very briefly. 
I think we have very good politicians in India, but I think we expect more of them, and that's what leadership is about. So this vote is a symbol and a signal to the political leaders to do more. Santosh Shekde. I agree very with briefly. Mr. Ramnathan. I think uh, that really reflects the uh, people's thinking and their confidence in the political leadership of this country. All right, we're out of time, unfortunately. All I have to do is to thank our distinguished thank panelists. You. Thank you very much for coming. And a big thank you to the audience, both here in Mumbai and around the world. Please don't forget we exist in cyberspace as well, www.theoutsider.tv. Do stay in touch with us and let us know your reactions to the debates. Till the next time, from all of us on the program, good night.